Hello friends, this video provide you top 45 SAP security questions and answers. What are the elements of SAP authorizations? Number 1. Authorization object class, it is a logical grouping of authorization objects. Example, all authorization objects for class FE starts with F underscore. Number 2. Authorization object, it is a group of 1 to 10 authorization fields. Example, S underscore tabu underscore dis, S underscore user underscore pro, F underscore BKP, F underscore BUK, etc. Number 3. Authorization field, it is a smallest unit where an authorization check should be executed. Example, ACTVT, bookers, class, etc. What is the purpose of S underscore T code? S underscore T code is the authorization object which is used to control transaction code access. This object is required to execute any transaction code. S underscore T code is the first line of defense as it is checked before any other authorization object. What is the purpose of SUIN transaction code? SUIM is a user information system which is a powerful tool used to analyze SAP authorizations assigned to users. Analysis can be done to a specific user to check his complete access. T code or role assigned to a specific user or group of users can be analyzed using SUIM. Analysis can be done to check the change history of roles and users. What are the SAP system predefined profiles? There are two predefined profiles. SAP underscore role and SAP underscore new. SAP underscore role is used to assign all authorizations that exists in the SAP system to users. SAP underscore new is a composite profile to bridge the differences in the releases in case of new or changed authorization checks for existing functions. What do you see in the user buffer and how to call the user buffer? Each user has his own user buffer. It contains all the authorizations that are assigned to the user. This list is arranged by object or authorization or object text. User buffer can be seen by executing the YesU56 transaction code. What data contains in USR star and USH star tables? User master records and authorizations are stored in USR star tables. The memory space can be reduced in these tables by archiving them. USH star tables are used to store change documents. The archiving function deletes change documents from USR star tables that are no longer needed. What are the important tables related to users and authorizations? USR01 contains runtime data of user master records such as printer, language, decimal notation, date format, etc. USR02 table contains logon information such as name, validity, last logon, and password, etc. USR03 contains user's address information. USR04 contains the user authorizations. USR10 contains the user authorization profiles. USR12 contains the user master authorization values. USR13 contains the short text for authorizations. What authorization object is used to control the debugging access and program developments? S underscore develop is the authorization object which controls the development axis. This object is used to give permission for all the ABAP workbench components. The authorization object S underscore develop is considered as critical if it is assigned in the production system. Users do not require this object in production system with more than display axis. What happens if the transport request had user assignment and no import lock had been set up? If user transports the roles with user assignment, 
The user assignments in the target system are completely replaced by those from the transport request. It also deletes the existing assignments to users that are not contained in the transport request. What are the critical basis authorization objects? What are the authorization objects related to background processing? Number 1. S underscore BTCH underscore job. This object is used to control the operations on background jobs. This allows users to release their own jobs. Number 2. S underscore BTCH underscore NAM. This object determines the authorized users, which users can choose from scheduling a background jobs. Number 3. S underscore BTCH underscore radium. This object is used to administer the background jobs, such as defining, maintaining, and monitoring the jobs. How to secure client settings in SAP system? Client settings are stored in the T000 table, and these settings can be maintained only by the system admins. The table T000 can be accessed through transaction codes SCC4 and SM30. Authorization object S underscore admin underscore FCD gives the maintenance access to client settings. This object will be given to only system admins along with SCC4 transaction code. Assign table T000 to the table authorization group so it can be controlled via S underscore tab underscore this authorization object. What are the authorization objects related to print and spool? Number 1. S underscore SPO underscore div. This object is used to control the authorizations for output devices defined which users can generate spool and output requests for which output device. Number 2. S underscore SPO underscore at. This object is used to control the actions performed on the spool requests. This object is checked only when user tries to access other user spool requests. What are the methods of transporting a role? Security roles are created in the development system and transported to quality system for testing. Once the roles are tested, they are transported to the production system. There are three different ways to transport the role. Number 1. Use T-code SCC1 for transporting the role between clients within the same system. Number 2. Role can be downloaded from source client or system and uploaded to target client or system. Number 3. Use transport management system. Create a transport request and transport the change request to other systems in the landscape. This is preferred method. What are the advantages and disadvantages in role download and upload? Advantages This method is useful when the system is not in the system landscape. When composite role is downloaded, all the single roles included in composite role are downloaded and when the composite role is uploaded, all the single roles in composite role are uploaded. Disadvantages The disadvantage is that all the roles needs to be generated after upload. No user assignments are uploaded when roles are uploaded. No audit trial happens in role upload or download. How to secure the programs in SAP system? SE38 or SE38 transaction code is used to execute the programs. Authorization object S underscore program is checked when program is executed. S underscore program contain two fields called user action and authorization group. One way of securing program is to assign authorization group to all custom programs or reports. For all custom programs or reports, include authority underscore check statement. Custom T codes are created for all custom programs or reports so that it checks S underscore T code authorization object. The best practice is to avoid assigning SE38 or SE38 transaction in production system. 
how to secure tables data is stored in tables and these tables contains confidential and sensitive data yesi 16 or sam 30 transaction code is used to look for data in a table authorization object s underscore the bond discord is is checked when a table is accessed s underscore the bond discord is contains two fields activity and dick burkles that is table authorization group one way of securing tables are assigning tables to table authorization group create custom t codes for each and every table that need access the best practice is to avoid assigning yesi 16 in production system what are the authorization objects related to tables number 1 S underscore the bond discord is this object is used to control the table access. This object controls access through standard table maintenance functions. Number two, S underscore the bond discord CLI. This object is used to assign authorization for the maintenance of cross client tables. This object can also be used along with S underscore the bond discord is to enhance the table maintenance authorizations. Number three, S underscore the bond discord num. This object is used to give access only one table belonging to some authorization group. Number four, S underscore the bond discord in. This object is used to restrict access to tables based on organizational criteria. This object control access to individual table rows. What is the purpose of S underscore data set? S underscore data set is the authorization object which controls the authorization checks for programs and files. When user access sequential files on the application server using open data set, read data set, transfer and delete data set. What is UESOBT and UESOBX? UESOBT This table defines for each transaction and for each authorization object which default values an authorization created from the authorization object should have in the profile generator. UESOBX This table defines which authorization checks are to be performed within a transaction and which not. This table also determines which authorization checks are maintained in the profile generator. What are standard profiles and generated profiles? Standard profiles comes with SAP. Below are the two important standard profiles. These profiles contains all the authorizations and capable of executing all the transaction codes. These profiles can be assigned directly to the user using SU01. SAP underscore all and SAP underscore new are the two standard profiles. Generated profiles. These profiles are the one which are created when the role is generated. These profiles cannot be assigned to user directly. They should get assigned when role is assigned. What is UESOBT and the SCOSI and UESOBX and the SCOSI? UESOBT and the SCOSI and UESOBX and the SCOSI are two SAP customer tables which controls the behavior of the profile generator after the transaction has been selected. After new installations, these two tables are empty and must be filled with values before the profile generator is used for the first time. SAP delivers standard tables UESOBT and UESOBX. These tables are filled with default values and used for the initial fill of the customer tables UESOBT underscore C and UESOBX underscore C. The customer tables can be modified if required. The code SU25 copies the SAP defaults from UESOBT and UESOBX to customer tables UESOBT underscore C and UESOBX underscore C. The code SU24 is used to maintain these customer tables to adjust the behavior of profile generator and authorization checks to be performed for each transaction code. What is authorization object status in SAP roles? Number 
Standard, this object displays value entries in authorization fields which are default, and the object is retrieved from the customer tables maintained in YesU24. Number 2. Changed, the default field values of this object have been changed. Number 3. Maintained, the changed values have been maintained. Number 4. Manually, the object has been added manually by using the button manually. What is Expert Mode in PFCG? Expert Mode contains three options. Number 1. Delete and recreate profile and authorizations. This option will delete all the authorizations and start over. This option can be selected only when you need to start over and bring in fresh copy of the objects based on the transactions. Number 2. Edit old status. This option is to edit the old status, which is same as entering change mode. Number 3. Read old status and merge with new data. This is the option we normally use, which is to read old status and merge the new data. The new data contains any new YesU24 changes. What are the reports related to YesAP information system? 1. Are YesU SR002 users by complex selection criteria? 2. Are YesU SR0025 list of users with critical authorizations? 3. Are YesU SR020 profiles by complex selection criteria? 4. Are YesU SR030 authorizations by complex selection criteria? 5. Are YesU SR040 authorization objects by complex selection criteria? 6. Are YesU SR070 roles by complex selection criteria? 7. Are YesU SR100 change documents for users? What are the user types in YesAP system? Dialog user type for individual interactive system access. System user type for background processing and communication within the system. Dialog logon is not possible. Service user type for dialog user available to a larger, anonymous group of users. Communication user type for dialog free communication for external RFC calls. Dialog logon is not possible. Reference user type for general, non-person related users that allows the assignment of additional identical authorizations. No logon is possible. What are the standard users in SAP system? Standard users are SAPSTAR, DDIC and Early Watch that are created by SAP system during installation process. Our YesUSR003 report can be used to check the passwords of SAPSTAR and DDIC in all clients. The table shows user IDs, clients that are exists, and their passwords. How to protect the SAP standard users? Here are the tasks to complete for protecting the standard users from unauthorized use. Number 1. Define a new superuser and deactivate SAP star. Use parameter. Login slash no underscore automatic underscore user underscore SAP star and set the value to greater than zero. Number 2. Change all the default passwords for these users. Number 3. Assign them to the super user group. Number 4. Lock DDIC and early watch and unlock them only when necessary. Do not delete DDIC. It is needed for installations and upgrade activities. What are the valid return codes for the authorization check? 0. Return code 0 means the user has the authorization for the authorization object with the correct field values. 4. Return code 4 means has an authorization for the authorization object, but the values checked are not assigned to the user. 12. 
Return code 12 means user does not have any authorizations for the authorization object. The values that are returned by the program check depends on the user buffer. When a user logs into the system, a user buffer is built containing all the authorizations for the user. Each user has his or her own user buffer. What are the daily activities of SAP Security Administrator? Below are some of the daily activities performed by security admins. Create, maintain, lock, unlock users and password resets using SU01. Create and maintain roles using PFCG. Maintain transactions authorization data in roles using PFCG. Generate authorization profiles using PFCG. Assign roles and profiles using SU01 or PFCG. Transport roles using PFCG, SE09, SE10. Monitoring and troubleshooting the system using SU53, ST01, SUIMT codes. What are the options for transporting SAP security roles? First option is to download the roles from one system and upload them into another system. This option loads the role data, including authorizations data from FI into the SAP system. The user assignments for the role and the generated profiles for the roles are exceptions. Second option is to transport the roles with transport function. Transporting the role is done using PFCG transaction code. Once the transport is created, it can be displayed using SE10 transaction code. The authorization profiles are transported along with the roles. What is customizing request and workbench request? Customizing request contains the changes related to the customization settings. It contains objects related to client-specific settings. Role changes are recorded under customizing request. Workbench request contains the changes related to the ABAP workbench objects. It contains objects related client independent settings. Programs, tables changes are recorded under workbench request. What are the tables related to transports? Both E070 table and E071 table are related to change and transport system. E070 table contains header of requests and tasks. Whereas E071 table contains object entries of requests and tasks. All these tables can be displayed using SE16 or SE16N transaction code. What are the return codes in the transport logs? Return code 0 which means transport ran without any error. Return code 4 which means warning were issued. All objects were transported successfully. Return code 8 which means objects could not be transported successfully. Return code 12 which means a critical error has occurred, probably not caused by the contents of the request. SE01 transaction code can be used to display the transport logs. What are the methods of SAP role deletion? There are two methods. First option is direct deletion. Go to PFCG transaction code, enter the role name and delete the role directly. This needs to be performed in all the systems except production system. Second option is delete using transport system. Go to PFCG transaction code and create a transport request with the roles you want to delete. Once the transport request is created, delete the roles and release the transport request. Import the request in all the systems. This method can be used to delete the roles in production system as roles in production system cannot be deleted directly. What are the tables related to roles and profiles? 
JCR underscore define it contains all the roles and reference to the parent role if available. JCR underscore AZR yes gives an overview of composite roles and their assigned single roles. JCR underscore 1016 this table contains roles along with their profiles. JCR underscore 1250 contains authorization object of the individual roles. JCR underscore 1251 contains authorization data including field values. JCR underscore 1252 provides information about organizational values of the individual roles. JCR underscore T codes, this table contains overview of the roles with their transaction codes. What is role and what is profile in SAP system? A role is a set of functions which describes a specific area. It contains transactions, reports and other related items. Roles also contains the authorization related to the transaction codes. For example, accounts receivable clerk role contains all the T codes and reports that an accountant need for his or her daily work. Roles are used to implement the menus that user can work with after they have logged on to the SAP system. Roles are created using the PFCGT code. Profile Profile contains the actual authorizations once a role is generated. What are traffic lights in PFCG? Number 1. Green All fields below this level have been filled with values. Number 2. Yellow There is at least one field below this level for which no data has been proposed or entered. Number 3. Red There is at least one organizational level field, also known as org level, below this level for which no values has been maintained. What are composite roles and derived roles? Composite roles are collection of one or more single roles. These roles contains only shell for combined roles and they do not contain any authorization data themselves. Derived roles are derived from the existing role, which is also called as master role. These roles inherits the transactions, reports and other elements from the master roles. Only the organizational values like company code, controlling area, sales org, purchase org etc. are not inherited from the master role. The master and derived role concept is used when the company has offices or plants across the globe. What is user comparison? User comparison is used to reconcile the roles or profiles of user account. The comparison is required when the roles are assigned with valid to dates. If the valid to date expires, then the user comparison deletes the roles or profile from that account. There is a report called PFCG underscore time underscore dependency, which runs before the start of the business day. This will ensure that the authorization profiles in user master record are up to date. PFUD transaction code can be used to do manual comparison. User comparison also ensures the deletion of generated profiles from the user master record if they are not among the roles that are assigned to user. Top 45 SAP Security Questions How to view the existing authorization objects in SAP system? An overview of the existing authorization objects can be received in two ways. YESU03 Maintain Authorizations and Profiles In this overview the authorization objects are sorted according the classes. With a double click you directly go into the detailed display. YESU21 Maintain Authorization Objects This T-code also provides the similar editing structure as SU03. This T-code allows to create new authorization objects. What are the important tables related to SAP authorizations? TOBJ, this table provides details of all the authorization objects exists in the system. TACT, this table stores all the activities which can be protected. TACTZ, 
This table gives details of valid activities for each authorization objects. TBRG, this table contains details of an authorization groups. TOBC, this table provide details of authorization object classes. TOBCT, text for authorization object classes. All the above tables can be viewed using YESI 16 transaction code. What are the steps involved in creating user-defined role? Step 1. Enter role name. Step 2. Save the role. Step 3. Maintain authorization data. Step 4. Generate authorization profile. What are the steps involved in risk analysis and remediation? Step 1. Identify and select risks to manage. Step 2. Build and maintain rules. Step 3. Detect authorization risk. Step 4. Remediate and mitigate risk. Step 5. Test and report the risk. Step 6. Prevent the risk. What are the tasks related to user administrator? A. Maintaining user master records. B. Assigning users to profiles. C. Assigning users to roles. Thank you for watching the video. Like, share and subscribe for more content.